Hello everyone, Marlene with Snowgardener 307. We are here to set up paycheck number two for my husband. So we are going to be doing some cash stuffing today and we're gonna be talking about sinking funds. For those of you guys that have never joined me for one of my videos, just so you know, my husband and I, we are still newlyweds and so we have our bills separate. We do have bills that we pay together, however, um, we keep most of our bills separate. We had acquired our own debt, so we are each working on our own debt. I enjoy budgeting, and my husband absolutely did not enjoy budgeting, so I offered to help him get his budget under control. And so I, um, of course, come up with some figures, run it by him, and then he has the final say on what happens with his money. And so let's go ahead and get started. Here's Fred, you guys, still alive. You know, please let me know what I can do with Fred. If you guys haven't watched my videos before, this is kind of funny. This is a succulent that I bought, and I absolutely love succulents, but I can't keep the poor things alive inside. I've got some outside, and they're doing good. Obviously, now they're frozen because there's snow, but you guys know what I mean during the summer months. So that's Fred, and this is my Erin Condren binder that um, I just recently set up. And you will see, I've got some meal ideas on here, but you will see um, in my setup video, if you check that out, exactly what I've done. So I utilize the Budget by Paycheck workbook by The Budget Mom. Absolutely love these. I am, however, slowly starting to work on my own forms just because it's not quite right. I love her concept, but I need a little bit more space. And so I am working on those, but I haven't gotten them done yet. So I've got this paper clipped where we need to go. So let's get on here. So we've got the February calendar. We are doing the payday, which is February 25th for my husband. He gets paid twice a month. I use the highlighter method, which is of course, thanks to the budget mom. And so his bills are going to be in purple. So I've got my purple highlighter. These are the Sharpie liquid highlighters and this is almost gone. You guys, you can tell what my favorite colors are on these because they're almost gone and I'm gonna be so sad when they're gone. I might have to buy some more. However, I did buy myself a big pack of mild liners so I'm probably gonna have to use those first. So that is our calendar. So that is the paycheck that we're going to be working on. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take out my paycheck bill tracker and also my cash envelope breakdown. So let me take these two things out. I'm still new to the Happy Planners, so I'm sure there's an easier way to pull those out. Love this Happy Planner that I got. It is a Memory Keeper Happy Planner, just so you guys know. And like I said, check out my video that I did when I set this up because I've got all my calendars in here and I've got my Budget Mom in there. So let me just set this aside and we will get started on this. And to me, I'm still having problems with my camera, just so you guys know, on my phone. I'm just utilizing my phone. And I recently got a refurbished phone because I had broken my phone and it seems to be doing weird things. So I appreciate you guys being patient with me. Um, somebody had suggested getting a stabilizer. And just so you guys know, if it's jumping around right now at all, it is in you know, a holder standing right here above. So. I'm not sure what else I can do, but we'll just roll with it. So we're gonna go ahead and do the paycheck, like I told you guys, on February 25th. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write this in. And then I like to use the same highlighter for everything for the month. And so I am gonna go ahead and just highlight around this date. And then as I pay the bills, I highlight them. And as I fill my sinking funds, I highlight them. You guys will see. And so my husband and I do not share our exact income. However, we do let you know um, what we're using. And so we've got my husband's paycheck that's going to be going into this. We also have some rollover money. We each have a checking account cushion that we keep in our checking accounts. And so he's got rollover money. And then he's got some miscellaneous money which oftentimes includes sinking funds. And that's what this month we are going to be using money for from his phone sinking fund. And then he's got money coming from me this month. This is, um, I say this month, but this paycheck is what I should say. This paycheck is um, where I actually pay him 
the rest of the money for the mortgage and anything else that I need to do. Just so you guys know, we um, do split a lot of the bills. However, I pay certain bills for him. And so it's not just a cut and dry straight across the board. So the money that we are working with this time is $3,400, one cent, I'm sorry, $1.86. Apparently I'm not gonna be able to talk numbers tonight. So we've got 3,000, 40186. And so let's go ahead and write in the bills. While I write in the bills right here, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward you guys. So these are the bills we're going to be paying. We're going to be paying his truck payment. We're going to be paying the water bill, CenturyLink, which is our internet, um, Discover credit card, the auto insurance, and then the gas to heat our home. And I don't know, I might start doing a budget setup video. I've seen some people do that before. And so I already kind of have a rough draft for myself that I keep and this way I can work on it and it can be, you know, just kind of a rough draft. And so I don't want to write in the budget and then the actual because that's just kind of a waste of time for me on this paper. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw an arrow through it. And so his truck payment is $945.22. And then water is $62. CenturyLink is $55.39. His Discover bill is $217. Just so you guys know, my husband was able to take advantage of a new credit card from Discover where he got a 0% promotion and he got quite approved for several thousand of dollars. I can't even talk. Several thousand dollars. There we go. And so this is our first payment. So we weren't sure exactly how high the payment was going to be. This is not where his debt snowball is going to at this point because this is 0%. And so he was able to transfer three cards onto this one card and pay three of them off with additional payments. And so our insurance this month is going to be $260.44. Now, my son is getting ready to turn 16 in April, so I'm afraid to see what this number is going to be starting in April. Just so you guys know, I do pay part of the insurance. Um, we have um, his truck, my car, we also have our snow machines on there, and we do have uh, a secondary truck that most likely will be the truck that my son is driving. And then my gas bill um, is $120. So let's go ahead and add these up and see how much his bills are, this paycheck. So we've got $945.22, and $120. So that equals $1,660.05. Then we're going to go ahead and subtract that from our beginning, which was $3,000. $401.86. So let's subtract this out. And just so you guys know, you're going to see over here that my husband did purchase a cell phone for himself. So part of his paycheck, he was able to utilize to finish paying for the cell phone. And so that will be over on this side. But I did want to let you guys know that part of this money coming from the sinking fund is going to be from the phone. And so next in his envelopes, he doesn't actually have envelopes or envelopes, however you want to say that. How do you guys say that? Envelopes? Envelopes. It's one of those words, right? So the only thing he gets cash for that he carries in his wallet is the allowance that he gives himself and the gas. And he chose this dollar amount. And I have a feeling that as his debt starts going down, he is going to raise this. And so he gives himself $25 every two weeks to spend on whatever he wants and $75 for gas. Just so you guys know, I never see this money again. It's his money. I believe he just rolls it over and he keeps it in his wallet, stuff like that. And so if he only needs $50 in fuel, then he's got 50 bucks to spend for his allowance. And of course, that doesn't matter to me. Um, and everybody needs to have a little bit of spending money. 
because I find when I don't give myself spending money, then all of a sudden I go on a spending splurge. So after taking the $100 out from there, we've got $1,641.81 left. So let's go ahead and bring that total up here. Like I said, I do like the budget mom, you know, these sheets right here. And of course I did pay for them. I love these because I can print as many as I want. And I just print them on cheap printer paper and I do it in black and white. Of course you can do it in color. Um, I just got my happy planner so you can see here that this had a regular hole punch in it first because I had it in a three ring binder. I like using what I can without wasting. And so I just utilize that. All right, so let me go ahead and write in the sinking funds. And this is part of where you're going to see that I have an issue with this setup here because I'm not going to have enough lines for the sinking funds that I need. So we've got birthdays and we've got holidays. My husband pays our garbage on a quarterly basis, I believe it is. So garbage, then he pays for Disney Plus. He pays for Amazon as well. And I pay for Hulu and Netflix. So we do cut, split that stuff up. Then he has his PlayStation he plays pays for. We have a Sam's Club. Um, and it could, you know, we put it under sinking funds because we don't necessarily spend it every single month, but between the two of us, we put $100 in there. That's for food and household. And then his truck sinking fund, he still has quite a bit of money in there because he hasn't had a chance to buy those tires yet. Land tax goes to our property that we own. We own six acres, which are three two acre lots. Some people have asked, you know, if I wanna pay debt off, why I don't think about selling the land. Quite honestly, we almost have the land paid for and land around here, you know, has just continued to grow in value. So even though once we get it paid off, we'll still be paying yearly taxes to us. It's worth the investment. So these are most of the sinking funds. However, I have one more and just for ease sakes, I'm just going to put it down here in debt. I know it's not debt, but this is what I'm going to do. And this is my husband's per diem. And anytime he gets per diem from his work, we put it into a sinking fund. So when he goes out of town, he's got the cash to spend and he's not tempted to use credit cards, which is what would happen in the past. And so he will be going out of town. So he's got money in his envelope from per diem before. And this paycheck had it as well. He'll be taking that money with him. Whatever he comes back with is what will go back into a sinking fund. And so as for his birthdays, we are taking this up a little bit more this time and we're taking birthdays and we're taking holidays up a little bit because he doesn't have a lot of money in there. And he did have, um, he worked his butt off quite honestly, guys. So he had quite a bit of overtime. And so he's going to go ahead and put $40 into his birthdays and $40 into his holiday. Just so you guys know, this is any birthday present that he wants to buy, and this is any money for any holidays that he wants to spend. And then for garbage, he puts $12 a month. And for Disney Plus, it is $3. And I apologize, I said $12 a month. This is $12 a paycheck. He gets paid twice a month, or sorry, he gets paid bi-weekly. I get paid once a month. For Disney Plus, he puts $3 in a paycheck. For Amazon and PlayStation, he puts $5 each. For Sam's Club, he puts $50. For his truck this time, we're going to go ahead and do $70. Land tax is $16. He's going to go ahead and add $20 into his giving fund. Just so you guys know, we do not keep track of what's in our giving fund. Um, this is a newer category for both of us, and so it's starting out small. However, we want to have money to be able to give people in need or people that are fundraising. You know what I mean? If it is kids that are selling Girl Scout cookies or people selling raffle tickets for, you know, somebody that has cancer, you know, stuff like that. We want to be able to do that. And what I would love to do this Christmas is to adopt a family and do that for Christmas. And so that is my goal. So I hope to be able to start ratcheting up my giving fund because that is what I want to do. I want to be able to not only buy Christmas presents for a family in need, but I want to be able to buy groceries as well. And so... This right here, I'm going to go ahead and write the per diem in right now just because I'm thinking about it. I know it's under the debt total, but like I said, this is my sheet, so I know it. So my husband is actually putting $246 into his 
per diem sinking fund as well. For ease sake, we're just going to add it up down here with his snowball payment. But I just wanted to write it in and explain to you guys why I had it down here. So let's go ahead and add up the sinking fund totals up here. <laughs> The sinking fund total is $261. Let's go ahead and subtract that. So he still has $1,380.81. So let's go ahead and do this. Now, due to my husband needing a new cell phone, um, he doesn't have a very large snowball. However, just know his snowball actually is only $25. So he's still putting extra in. So he is going to make an extra $60 payment to his snowball. So let's go ahead and subtract the per diem sinking fund as well as the small snowball payment. So and that leaves us with $1,074.81. And right here, even though this isn't the debt total, we're going to go ahead and add it up. 306 is that total. Then down here, we have got $400 coming in from his sinking fund, just so you know. We had just started his phone sinking fund on the 11th. I put $100 from his previous paycheck. Um, we had um, some extra money from a side hustle that came in, so he had $300 for that. So it was only in here for a short amount of time. I thought it was going to be longer but because of the paycheck he had and because his phone continued to get worse, um, he went ahead and bought himself a new phone. So we are going to be putting that right here. So we're going to put phone. And what is going to happen here is I'm gonna take the $400 that he had and put it into his savings account because he bought his phone a couple days ago. We already knew how much his check was going to be. So I am just transferring the money from his checking account into his savings account. And so for this one, like I said, and this was his sinking fund, that was $400. And then he spent another $500 on his phone, so his phone was $900. So I'm just going to put savings right here and put phone next to it. So $500 is going right back into his savings. So he was able to cash flow his phone he is not doing payments through the Verizon this time, and this is the first time he's ever done that. So I'm super excited that he's not gonna have to pay that monthly. And then the last thing that we've got is his rollover. And depending on what the bill's like and what everything is going on in the home, I like to keep anywhere from $150 up to like mine, if you've seen any of my budgeting videos, you have to know that my rollover had gotten quite large. Mine was close to $800. However, I have utilized, I think, $500 of it this month. And because of my unbudgeted items, which included a phone for me as well. So we have got $1,074.81 in this category. Okay, so we've got this right here. Just so you guys know, um, I have pulled cash out already for his sinking funds. However, I have not filled out a cash envelope breakdown. So I knew how much I needed, but I don't need to use my card right here. And I'm sitting down, you guys, because I was standing and my back is hurting. So we'll see if I can reach. I like to film sitting down, but I thought I would try standing up. But apparently, you know, I'm getting too old for that. So... Let's go ahead and write the date here. So this is the February 25th paycheck. And I've got my purple highlighter. So we're gonna go ahead and highlight that. And let's go ahead and break down the cash that we need. And then I'm gonna set this cash aside right now because I don't know if I have the exact bills that I need. If I don't have the exact bills that I need, I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of our sinking funds. So I've got my sinking funds here. So if this is not quite right, I will go ahead and grab other money out um, because I didn't actually go to the bank for this money. I utilized the $400 that he had in his sinking fund so of this money, $400 came out of his sinking fund. That way, instead of having to take the $400 to the bank, 
all I have to do is a balance transfer. And then the rest of the money um, came from the money that I owed him. And so I um, paid what I owed him in cash and was able to utilize it that way. I owed him a little bit more, so I went ahead and deposited that in his account as well. And so we've got our categories here. So we've got his allowance, and his allowance is $25. And we always do a 20 and a five. Then we've got his fuel or gas, and that is $75. And I go ahead and do a 50, a 70, or 50, a 70, a 50, a 20, and a five. He is filling up his truck, so a lot of times it will take $50, if not more, so that's not a big deal. I know for myself, I don't like having 50s in my gas fund, because in my car, I can't fit $50 in there. And when I go in to pay cash, I usually just pay a certain amount. I'll give them $20, $30, whatever. All right, I had to have some of my A&W Zero Sugar that I'm drinking right now. It's delicious. Then we're going to go ahead and do his birthdays. And it was $40. And we're just going to do two 20s there. And if you guys see something change for what I want and what I'm actually able to fill... Like I said, just know it's because I, maybe I didn't have enough 20s to change out some of the 50s or something like that. I did avoid having the hundreds, so I was able to um, use bigger bills or smaller bills from our sinking funds. So holidays was 40 as well. Then we've got garbage, and it's $12. So 110 and two ones. And then I've got Disney Plus which is $3. And then we've got PlayStation and Amazon, which are $5. And I know I've had people ask me why I don't just take his sinking funds out of one paycheck instead of taking these small increments out of every single paycheck. For my husband, his income varies so greatly that there could be a paycheck where, you know, it's not as large as another paycheck. And I know that happens to a lot of people, but I feel more comfortable when I'm doing his bills if I'm taking a small amount out of each check. Now, I also do add extra money into his savings account besides the rollover. Um, like this time it was to replace for the phone. But I add extra into a savings account for the checks that are not as big as the others. And so his paychecks can vary so greatly that sometimes, you know, in the past, it's been really, really hard for him to pay his bills because he, for example, you know, instead of working even a normal 40 hour week, he'll get 30 hours and he gets way more than 40 hours normally. So it made it really, really hard on him. So I tell you what, this budgeting and the cash envelope system and the sinking funds has, you know, give us, given us so much confidence in our finances. And we finally feel like we are controlling our money instead of our money controlling us. And so that is so very nice. All right. Is that... Let me make sure. 140, 240, 246. Okay, so let's go ahead and count these up. So we've got two, three, four, five. So we need five fifties, which equals $250. And I had put this on here because I thought I was going to go to the bank. I'm going to go ahead and save that for next month. This is if I need to go to the bank to get cash. This is what I use for the teller. These are from the Budget Mom. Just so you guys know, I don't get anything for showing you guys these. I just think they're great and I love them. I will be utilizing this probably for my paycheck, which is coming on Friday. So let me go ahead and put that aside just so it's out of the way. Then for 20s, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, plus 17. Is that right? Eight, yep. Okay, so 15. Sometimes I can't add you guys, so that's $300. Perfect. And then we've got one, two tens for $20. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, 
five fives for $25. And then for ones, we have five, six plus six equals 12 for $12. All right, I am going to count the money, get ready to go ahead and get these sinking funds stuffed and my husband's money ready for him. Let me make sure I've got enough for this. So like I said, I might have to change some of them, but this is ideally what I would like. So I will look and see what I've got. I think I've got pretty close to what I need. So I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, I'm back. I've got this. I did have to make one change. Um, I had a $20 bill down for his giving. I had to use two tens. I didn't have quite the right change. So I did make that change. So if you see that, um, my 20s and my 10s did change. So let's go ahead and let's make sure, let's count before I get started to make sure that I've got what I said I did because you guys know I like to make mistakes, especially when it comes to sinking funds and when it comes to the cash envelope breakdown. So let's make sure we've got what we need. So we should have 550. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Then we should have 14 20s. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Perfect. We should have four tens. One, two, three, and four. We should have five fives. One, two, three, four, and five. Then we should have 12 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Awesome. You guys, just so you know, I like to double check and make sure that everything is right. So when we are adding money into our sinking funds, I'm going to count it before I add it and I'm going to count it after. I have found so many mistakes that way, it's not even funny. And then after I do my bills and my sinking funds, we'll go ahead and do a sinking fund check-in so that everybody can see how much we have. And so let's see, I guess I can put these over a little bit. All right, so we'll get these and we will get them stuffed. I'm hoping that March is going to be a better month for me. Seems like I just went kind of spend happy. When you watch, if you watch, I just did my weekly check-in. If you watch that, it's just like I was out of control. Um, I am super proud that even though I spent money, it was money for my checking account cushion. And it's nothing to what I used to spend. I don't know how the heck I used to pay my bills, you guys. I don't. I guess I didn't, right? That's how I got so much credit card debt. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do my husband's allowance. So we're going to do 25. So we've got 120 and 15. So a 20 and a 5. I'm going to set that aside for him. Then we're going to go ahead and do his gas. And we'll cross out allowance to make sure we've got it. And his gas, we're going to go ahead and do 75. So we've got 50, 70, and 5. So we'll put that aside. Go ahead and highlight this. And I just saw... Um, Jess on Jay Wackers gave me a shout out, out on her channel because she decided to highlight hers. For me, it's a huge visual. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a huge visual person. And so I just like being able to see it. Let me show you guys what I'm doing here. So I've got my sinking fund binder. I got this from Amazon, just so you guys know. This is yet another idea um, stolen from Jess at Jay Wackers. So check out her channel if you haven't already seen it. And inside of it is all of our sinking funds. And you can see that I've got them labeled. And this is a little bit smaller than the one that Jess uses, but it was, the, it was a small enough one that it would fit into my safe that I could actually find. And so super excited to have this one. So I'm gonna keep this off camera and I'm just going to pull each sinking fund and we're gonna go ahead and count them together and add the money. So the first one that we're gonna do for my husband is his birthday fund. And so this is one of the Budget Moms cards. Um, I started it back in May. So we are finally through this side. So I have put the total up at the top. So my husband should have $155 in here. So we've got 150 and five. You'll notice a lot of my sinking funds have big bills in them now. It is because of this, but it's so much nicer than having a ton of bills in your sinking funds. And so today's date is 225 and we are going to be depositing and we're going to be adding $40 and that will give us a total of $195. So we're gonna add 220, so we've got 20 and 40. Let me get this put in order. This one's super easy to count. So we've got 100, 150, 170, 190, 195. So 195 in his birthday funds. 
Then we're going to go ahead and highlight that we did that one so we don't get sidetracked. And we're going to go ahead and grab his holidays out. Okay, so holidays. He has $60 in the holidays. So we're going to go ahead and add 40 to this so that will give him $100 in his holiday fund. And so we're adding 40, so that will give him $100. And we are due to doing two 20s again. So we've got 20 and 40. And it's funny because I'm not sure I checked this fund for 20s, or else I probably could have kept the 20 and not used the 10s, but that's okay. So he's got $100 in here. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, $100. So nice to have the sinking fund money so you don't have to come up with the money. And I will tell you guys, I'm going to be adding a sinking fund both to my husband and I. So we're going to add yet another sinking fund. And that is going to be for snow machining. If you watched my week three check-in, you saw that we did snow machining with my children. We do own snow machines. We're paying for one now, but it is a super expensive hobby. And with my husband's work schedule and my son's hockey, we haven't went yet this year. And I didn't even think about where we were going to bring come up with the money when we did. So for next season, we're going to have a sinking fund. So for garbage, my husband has $19 in there. So let's make sure there's 19. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. And then we are going to be adding $12. So we're going to add $12. Now I'm sitting here going, I think that that's $31. 19 plus 12, right? 31. It's amazing how much harder math is when you're on camera. Just so you guys know. All right, so $12, 10, 11, and 12. Let's go ahead and add this into the $19. And we'll count it again so we should have $31. So we've got 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and $31. So garbage is filled, and we'll highlight that one. Next, we'll get into my husband's subscriptions. I have all of these in the same area in my files, and so I've got multiple ones in there because these are all of his. So we need to grab the Disney Plus, which I am almost positive is coming up due because he's got $92 in there right now. So let's check this out, make sure he's got 92. So we've got 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92. And holy fives. That will probably be utilized this next time because that was a lot of fives. That's what I was putting in there until this year. Now it's dropped down to $3 because when we started our sinking funds, we started them in April. So at that point, it was $5 a check. So now it's $3 we're going to be adding. So one, two, and three. And I'm going to go ahead and flip the card over. I'm going to go ahead and write our starting balance here, which was $92. And our category is Disney Plus. And today's date, $225. Then we're going to go ahead and do a deposit. And we're adding $3. So it will give us a balance of $95. Count it again. Make sure all these fives. 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, and 95. All right, $95 for Disney Plus. Go ahead and set that one aside and go ahead and highlight it. And then we'll go ahead and do Amazon next, which is going to be $5, and then the PlayStation will be $5 as well. And Amazon is one that we have already paid. We paid Amazon last month, so the balance on it right now is $17. So we're going to go ahead and add $5. And add $5. That will make $22. Let's grab a 5 and count. Oops, let's make sure. 17. Okay, then we're going to add another 5. So then we've got 22, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22. What is your guys' favorite sinking category that you have? Do you have a category that just every time you put money in it makes you happy? 
Um, I think my favorite one right now, just so you guys know, is our vacation fund. We have officially booked my daughter's, or rebooked, I should say, my daughter's graduation trip. And so we will be going to Mexico. And we were originally supposed to be going to New York City and then doing a cruise to Bermuda to do some scuba diving. However, that got canceled. And so I got my refund money back for that. And um, I have booked it now. I was able to utilize... Um, the cash that I had left over um, from it. I had a little bit, not much, because I did pay off a credit card with it, if you guys saw that. And then I made a mistake on one of my credit cards and thought I had 0% for longer, and I didn't. So I used quite a bit of the money from that. But I was able to have enough cash to do the deposit, and we are going to finish paying for it with our income tax, just so you guys know. So it will not be going on a credit card whatsoever. And... No, I won't be able to utilize that money for credit card payment. However, my daughter only graduates high school once. So that is what we're going to be doing. All right, so we're going to go ahead and add $5 into PlayStation as I got a little bit sidetracked there. But yeah, so the vacation fund, super excited about that. And the vacation fund that is the sinking fund is not going to be to pay for it. It's going to pay for the rest of our travel. It's going to pay for... Um, you know, our way to the airport hotels when we're in the airport. And actually, just so you guys know, the hotels, I've got a Chase card that is a Hyatt card and I get free hotels from that. So our hotels are free. So that's really nice. And, um, but you know, of course we're going to do excursions, right? While we're in Mexico, we're going to want souvenirs. We're going to want to buy stuff. We are going to an all-inclusive resort. So that will make it a little bit easier. Before I add this $5 in, let's make sure that we've got... $85, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, add our five, and we've got 90. All right, so that is added in there. And so yeah, super excited for the vacation. Can't believe my daughter is graduating high school already. Um, I don't feel like I'm old enough to have a daughter graduating high school, but it, I guess I am, right? And my son's gonna be turning 16 in a couple of months, like I just told you guys. It's just hard to believe. All right, then we're going to go ahead and stuff Sam's. And so you can see right here, Sam's has $100 in it. We put 50 and 50 and we haven't spent it yet. I am getting ready to do a Sam's order, just so you know. My husband is running low on coffee. And when I say running low on coffee, I mean he has two containers left. I don't like for him to run out. He likes the Dunkin' Donuts coffee. And I can't afford to buy it locally. If I buy the Dunkin' Donuts at our local store, I'll get one of those little bags. And I think they're like 8 or $9. And so I can't afford that. And I don't drink coffee, just so you guys know. So that is the one splurge for him that he absolutely loves. So... We're going to go ahead and deposit the money for him. And like I told you guys earlier on this fund, we utilize this for whatever we need. So it could be household. It could be food. Um, if we go into the club and we want to buy some clothing or something like that, we do that as well. All right. So we're going to, we've got 100 in there. We're going to go ahead and add another 50. So 150. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and grab his truck sinking fund. Some of you guys know my husband was saving for tires. He has got enough money for his tires now, and it's still in here. So he has $995 in his sinking fund. He will be getting those ordered. Um, I don't think he is super worried about it now because he really hasn't been driving his truck a lot. And so he has been parking it at work and then... Um, he does drive semi trucks just so you guys know as part of his job So obviously his truck stays at the shop and then He's leaving the state and he's taking the semi with him. So his truck just sits there But you know, that's up to him and I want him to feel comfortable driving his truck If he does have to drive it on the highway or anything like that. So let's count this make sure before that we do have nine hundred and ninety five dollars so we've got 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 750, 800, 850, 900, 950, 960, 70, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, and 95. So he does have $995 in there right now. And 
For those of you guys that didn't watch some of my previous videos, he has already purchased license plates out of his sinking fund as well. So he will have new trucks, new trucks, new tires purchased here, probably within the next month, I would think, or maybe two. Um, he's already got his plates filled. And so the extra money that we're putting in here now is going to be um, for oil change, stuff like that. And he wants to start maintaining a fund so he doesn't have to worry about adding $500 at a time into there. So he's got $9.95 and we're adding in the 70, so that will give him $1,065 in this fund. And for this, we were doing a 50 and a 20. So we'll grab a 50 and a 20, and we'll get it put in here, and we are gonna count it again, just to make sure I know how to count money. I oftentimes wonder if I know how to count money, because when I look at my videos sometimes, I just shake my head, because that's all I can do. So we're looking for 1,065, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 750, 800, 850, 900, 950, 1,000, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. And see, I almost messed up there on the ones. So $1,065 for his truck. Then we'll go ahead and grab out the land tax envelope. So my husband does $16 um, twice a month for the land tax, and I do $32 once a month, which you're going to see. And I was able to actually just cash out a bunch of money in this one because it's at 304, so that makes it's going to make it super easy to count. So we're going to go ahead and add $16. And so deposit for him, $16, and that will give us $320. So before we add it, let's make sure we've got 304. Like I said, I just changed out some big bills, so super easy. 100, 200, 250, 300, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then we're going to go ahead and grab $16. So 10, 15, and 16. And we're going to put this in here. And it will be an easy count, right? So 320 is where we're at now for our land taxes. 100, 200, 250, 300, 310, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. We're getting there. Almost done. I actually really enjoy filling the cash. And I think it's one of the most satisfactory things to see our sinking funds getting larger. And of course, sometimes they get smaller. And that's okay, right? Because we need to, um, you know, we need to make sure that we're saving the money. But if we're saving it for something and we're going to use it, it's kind of like my husband for his phone, right? And so we're going to go ahead and add $20 into my husband's giving. We do not count this. It doesn't matter how much is in there. It doesn't matter how much we give. If we give every single penny we have, then that's amazing. And so I'm going to grab $20. I'm going to put it into his giving fund. And we will call that one good. And so on his giving fund, just so you guys know, all I have on the card is just it just says giving it does not say anything besides that so let me put this back in here giving and the last one is for his per diem all right so his per diem let's see if i can get it out it's all the way at the back and the cash is stuck there we go so his per diem should have 140 dollars in it so we've got 50 100 140 right 120 140 so 140 we're going to be adding 246 today. And my husband may be gone for an extended amount of time. And so he is going to be taking this whole $386 with him so that he doesn't have to worry about using a card or anything. So we should have everything we need here. Oh, you know what's funny? Look what I did. I put a 20 into the giving and I was supposed to do the two tens. We'll just leave it like this, right? As long as we've got the 246, the tens might come in handy for my husband. You'll notice I did not give him hundreds. I did give him a couple fifties, but I wanted him to have small enough bills so that when he has to pay for dinner or something at a gas station, coffee, something like that, he doesn't have really big bills. So let's go ahead and pile all this money together and let's hope that we have got $246 left. So we've got 50. 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 220, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And we sure do. 
All right, so we are going to, I put that in there, but what I'm gonna do next is I'm actually going to take all of this cash and I am going to give it to my husband because he will be leaving. And so we have 386, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and put for tomorrow and he's not leaving tomorrow, but I'm just gonna put tomorrow and I'm just gonna put withdrawal and we're gonna take all of it out. And if he has some left over, which I believe he will, we will put it back in, but we will see. Um, he just took out the $185 before that for the trip um, previous to that and was able to utilize it. So it worked out quite well. And highlight this. And I forgot to tell you guys, I had added these up after I turned the camera off, but today he stuffed $607 into his envelopes and of course his allowance gas and his per diem that he will be taking with him so that he doesn't have to use credit cards. All right, everybody. I believe that is it for me today. I thank you guys so much for staying along with me. And I look forward to seeing you there next time. You guys have a blessed day. Bye for now.